Hey everybody, welcome back to Quinn's Cones. I'm your host, Sleepy Quinn, and today we got we got some late night dairy. So what a better way to celebrate than with some late night attire. I am so excited for this ice cream. I've been wanting to try it for so long. Can't wait to jump into it. So before we get started, I wanna give a shout out to the ice cream subreddit. Mm. Lots of love. Thank you guys for subscribing from over there. I hope to be your king one day and rule the subreddit with an iron fist, but in due time, in due time. So just a little uh, Quinn's Cones trivia, just some fun facts before we get started. I actually tried to film a Sleepy Quinn episode for week three, and so that's why there was no episode that week because I wanted to film at night, but I didn't have the technology or the skill to film with near zero lighting. <laughs> so I just wanna make the announcement that I still don't have that technology. <laughs> so we're still filming during the day. Another Quinn's Cones trivia fact, I actually sewed this hat myself, my Quinn's Cones nightcap. I don't know why, but I'm glad I did. Today we have the Tonight Dough, or also known by its street name, Jimmy Fallon flavor. So this dairy is actually a mix between caramel and chocolate ice cream featuring cookie dough, chocolate cookie pieces, and peanut butter. So in terms of packaging, mostly Ben & Jerry's products get a three out of five on the show because they're all pretty uniform, pretty uh, similar. But this, we got Jimmy here. And Jimmy's extending an olive branch in the form of an ice cream cone to his followers in order to be enlightened by his dairy. So I'm gonna have to bump it up to a four out of five for the packaging, just cause Jimmy's there being so courteous with his ice cream. So let's just jump right into it. Ben and Jerry's, you know how it is. Let's see what that first bite's all about. Mm. I will say this does give heavy Ben & Jerry's half-baked vibes. But that's, as you know, if you've watched the tier list video, that's up there, that's up there for me. First bite, just initial reaction, I'm gonna give it a four out of five, because it is in the similar vein as half-baked, and that is one of my personal favorites, so gotta stay true with that. Oh, I think I got a little Jimmy in there. Oh. <laughs> so for texture, I was just kind of really just getting into the zone, focusing on the sensations in my mouth. But I will have to say, there's a lot of solids going on. Dairy, mostly liquid. But in this specific one, you have peanut butter chunks, you have cookie dough chunks, you got cookie chunks. There's just a lot of solids going on in this particular piece of dairy. And I'm not complaining, but I can understand if that's not your thing. So for texture, I'm, I'd have to give it a three out of five, just because while I was eating it, the dairy to solids ratio wasn't the best. So in terms of aftertaste, the chocolate ice cream, as usual with Ben & Jerry's, is very strong. Check out the chocolate therapy video or the half-baked video, both featuring some chocolate in there, and I say in both, chocolate's rich. Ben & Jerry's does chocolate better than anybody. And I'd have to say, the aftertaste, it, the chocolate really lingers, as well as the cookie dough. If you watch the Ben & Jerry's cookie dough video, I talked about how the cookie dough in Ben & Jerry's is small but mighty. And that's featured again here. It's, it does pack a punch. I'm gonna have to give the aftertaste a four out of five again. It's, I'm not complaining about it. The peanut butter doesn't have as much of a presence as I would have expected, but that's fine by me. Ice cream! What was that? Ice cream! Oh, we got Jimmy talking to us. What was that, Jimmy? All right, that was sloppy. I'm sorry, that was sloppy. <laughs> This guy, this guy. So let's get one more bite in here, and then we'll talk about the wow factor. Oh, I got a bit of peanut butter in that one. Very strong flavors. Yep. So in terms of wow factor, I'd have to say four out of five. I say that because I was, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. As you know, I like the, I like Moose Tracks core the dairy with the peanut butter, but sometimes peanut butter, I don't think meshes very well with the ice cream, but in this, I'm not complaining. It's it's really good. I'd, I was taken back by how good it was. I'd, I'd have to say the four out of five for the wow factor. 
So one word to describe Ben and Jerry's, the Tonight Dough slash Jimmy Fallon flavor, would have to be doughy. There's a lot of dough going on in here. And you got Jimmy's doughy face featured on the front of the packaging. So it's just doughy all around. I'd have to say that this is, this is one of the better ones. In the, when I update the tier list, it's definitely gonna be higher up on the rankings. Maybe, maybe God tier, who knows? I'd have to eat the rest and just kinda really think about it more. So just some final thoughts. I'd have to say, who wouldn't wanna grab a tub of the Tonight Dough, cuddle up on the couch, and watch some Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of Quinn's Cones. I am so thankful for all the new viewers that have popped on the bandwagon. We're going full speed ahead on the Quinn's Cones train and I don't plan to stop anytime soon. So thank you guys for tagging along. New videos every Friday. I enjoy making these for you guys. I'm glad you guys like watching them. So be sure to drop a like if you like the video. Comment if you got anything to say. I love reading them and interacting with you guys. Subscribe if you want to see more. And with that said, take care. Have a great day. See you next Friday. Bye-bye. <sighs> Ice cream! <laughs>